My name is Laura and I'm a family physician. I've been a family doctor for 18 years. I am doing this walk for three different groups. I'm walking for my profession for medical doctors because as a family doctor I spent years really not understanding the impact of abortion on women and I was really um, somewhat ambivalent to it. I would counsel women about their choices but I really I never really heard back about the impact that an abortion might have on a, on a patient. It wasn't until several years into my practice that I began to question prenatal screening and how we would selectively end the lives of children with Down syndrome or spina bifida and I wondered if that was really the best option for families and I would see these kids with Down syndrome and realize how much they brought into a community and into a family and just the joy that they walked in. And I wondered, really, is that what we should be doing as a medical profession, advising that patients end the lives of these babies? And I feel that as a medical profession, we are truly driven by compassion and care for patients. We do really care about um, how our decisions impact the lives of our patients. And I think we've been lost a bit in the technology and in the science of what we can do. And we're not hearing from people about how um, a decision is impacting them. My hope is that people will really hear these stories and that it will provoke them to go and speak to their own family doctor, that they will go and tell their physician um, how abortion has affected them because these stories need to be told. And it wasn't until I began working with a pregnancy center that women, I feel that women started to trust me enough to share the deep wound that abortion had caused them. And when I started to hear these stories, it was, um, yeah, it was hard to hear. And I feel like many of my medical colleagues have no idea that we're not truly allowing women to make an informed choice, that they don't understand um, the decision that they're making. And I really believe that it's time in our country that we have a reformation of how we approach unplanned pregnancies. And I believe that the medical community, um, as we begin to understand this issue in greater depth, that we will be open to changing the way we have handled these situations. And I believe that there are many groups on both sides of um, the abortion debate that would be willing to work together to um, change this issue in our country. I'm also walking for the 15-year-old girl who is yet to find herself pregnant. I know that um, she will be faced with a lot of fear and confusion, that she will feel overwhelmed, and she will look to those in authority and try to find out what is available for her and she will go to her medical doctor and they will say it is safe to abort. And she will look to the government and they will say, you can have an abortion and it is legal and we will pay for it. And so from that place of feeling overwhelmed and scared, she will choose that a default decision, a decision to abort. And even though if she were to go on a school field trip to play soccer, she would need her, the permission of her parents to go and yet to have an abortion, she doesn't need her parents' uh, consent at all. And so she can just slip away for the day and have this procedure, and then she is left with a lot of secrecy, possibly shame, and emotional hurt that is hers for the rest of her life. And I'm walking for her because I want her to know that she can make a decision from a place of confidence um, surrounded by people who will care for her and love her and have compassion for the chaos that she's dealing with. And um, I believe that as a country that is what we should strive for and aim for. And in doing that, I'm walking for the third group, which is the unborn baby. And even though a pregnancy may not be wanted, a child always is, a baby always is. And I've sat in my office and I've listen to women with an unplanned pregnancy wanting to abort their child and in the same day I've listened to the tears of a couple with infertility and I just believe that we need to be a voice for the voiceless and we need to protect the vulnerable in our in our land
and speak up for those babies that don't have a voice. So that's why I'm walking. <laughs>